Let's go back to a little bit of the life in Dubai. For my memory, a lot of your life and therefore my life was based around people, community, and with those communities, it was always related to sport, whether it was your Jane Fonda aerobics class, whether it was your running group, your and dad's running group or dad's cycling group. Mm. Did you do that on on purpose or? Well, I suppose we were, your dad was a runner. I started running after I had you. And that, I was 33 when I had you. Mm. And I'm, I couldn't lose the baby weight. You know, it didn't fall off me as quickly as it had fallen off me with Claire. So I thought, I've got to do something. And your dad was away. <laughs> um, and I had a pair of plimsolls. <laughs> or tackies, as they're yeah, called. Yeah, tackies. Them. Um, and I put those on one evening. I got you and Claire into bed sleeping and it was a summer evening and I thought we were nicking them and I thought, right, I'm going to try this running. Your dad was away for three weeks. So I said to my friend Karen next door but one, can you just keep an eye on the on Marcus and Claire, I'm going out for a run. And she came in and she sat and watched TV in our house. And I got back half an hour later and I thought, hmm, I don't mind this running. <laughs> but I tell you, the next morning, my calves were so sore, I couldn't walk up the stairs. I couldn't, I was in agony, but I wasn't going to be defeated. That night, again, I went out for a run. Two nights in a row? Yep. Wow. And for the, he'd been away for a week before I started this. And then two weeks later, he came back and I had been running nearly every day. And he said, well, we better go and buy a pair of proper shoes. Wow. And that was it. And that was it. And started running then. And then, of course, when I, we went to Dubai, I used to be in all the races winning. Because winning, there wasn't many people then to compete with that much. And I was probably the only lady that ran mm. like I did. Did you enjoy it? I loved running. I absolutely, it was so easy to get, get up and mm. go for a run. Um, and particularly where we lived actually at the trade center, it was nice out where we were running out of the desert and around by Sheikh Mohammed's palace. Mm. We were able to run around there. It was free. Um, and I used to run with the boys. Faster than most of them, <laughs> which they didn't like. I used to run on a Thursday, which was the weekend. We had a group of, you know, friends who used to come. We used to meet up and we'd go running. And I used to run with them. I was the only woman that was running with them as well. Um, and that continued for quite a few years. Mm. Moved to Saffa Park. And I was running around Safford Park with, you know, around Jamira. And then I was doing races whenever the races came up. I was doing, I bought, I won a sofa, sofas, <laughs> I, I won trophies. Yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe you won a camera once. And uh, absolutely, I won, I won lots of things. And I never forget when we were, um, I think Claire must have been at school here in the UK by then. But anyway, she wasn't with us, you were with me. And Auntie Phyllis and mm. Nishi were in Dubai. And the run that we were doing was from the Sheraton mm. in Deira along the creek there. And when I came in, I got this um, cop 
you know, winning cup and uh, you were so excited about it. You took the cup off me and you were running around <laughs> the cup. Um, and then, yeah, and then I got into aerobics. Um, well, it was my fitness and did a course with Nargis, Nargis Vickery mm -hmm. then, um, and started teaching aerobics. You continued to run for, till you were 60... Oh my goodness, I must be... Late 60s, mid to late 60s. It would be about, I was having trouble with my knees. Yeah. Um, I would say, yeah, 60, 17, 18. Yeah, because I was running in Spain as well. Mm. My question here, Mum, is as you, you obviously spend a lot of time running and doing fitness when you're younger, but you come to a point where you can no longer do something that you enjoyed doing and because you had trouble with your knees and... I actually have some videos of when you ran with me a little bit during my marathons in 2018. I think that's the last time I really remember you Well, running. I used to run at your old gym mm. or even at your gym yeah. around the... I was running there. I was what, then running. How do you deal with when that Time gets comes. taken from you? Very, very hard. Mm. It is really, really hard. I think that's when now I walk and I still feel I would love to run. Mm. Um, at first, when I started walking, I felt I can still run. And I used to try and run. And then, of course, my knee, I had to have another up on my knee, didn't I? Mm. Um, and I thought, well, I'll have to stop running. And I, I just had to stop. But it, I found the walking boring. And I, I have to say, it is harder to go out for a walk than it is to go out for a run. Why is that? I don't know, because I think it's because inside you, you know you've been able to do a run. Mm -hmm. And maybe I get around quicker, I got around quicker running than I do walking. Well, I hope you did. <laughs> well, I did. <laughs> <laughs> So I think that, that that's the hard part. Mm. And then, of course, I had to stop exercising. Mm. And that's been quite difficult as well. But, you know, I've had good memories about what I've done. Sports. In the sport, well, you know, mm. 